V8 or W12? Which sounds better? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Welcome back to a new video guys and this is probably, well maybe the last time you'll probably see the S5 here and um, if it's not then we've probably not finished the raffle yet or we've not sold all the tickets. So if you've not seen it in the previous video I showed you that I bought a wrecked cheap Bentley GT Continental and if you've not watched it click in the top right hand corner now and unfortunately there's not going to be any dodgy costumes in this video but I'm going to explain every single thing that is wrong with this Bentley and what we need to actually do to start fixing it. Before we start and get into any of fixing it or repairing it or anything like that and showing you guys what's wrong, there's one thing which is more worse than a Rex Bentley and that is a dirty Rex Bentley. Let's get this thing clean. Hello, what do you want? You need to tell them how you made that awesome website. I can do. And also that they are today's sponsor of the video. I'll do it. Right. So this video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build and run your online business. Yeah, so Squarespace is like super easy to use and the thing I like about it the most is that it's so customizable to make it look your own and make it look professional at the same time. Here's an example of how you can use the galleries to easily show loads of pictures or videos that you want on your homepage on your website. So head to squarespace.com now to get your free trial and when you're ready to launch your website, click my link in the description box below and get 10% off your first website or domain name. Right, back to the video. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure, uh-oh mm. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not It feels just like I'm lying to you I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life I know I'm wasting time Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight It doesn't have to be so special I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright This Bentley is 14 years old and the paintwork's 14 years old and like most teenagers, they're not perfect. But before we get into that and everything that's wrong, I think we need to dive into the interior. Now, this interior is like an expensive handbag. I think I've said it before and it smells just amazing but it's also got a small smell of like dampness in here or it's just, it's just filth there, okay? Let's just start cleaning the interior of the Bentley GT Continental. Cue the music, let's go. Fantastic, it's now started to rain, yeah. Well, it 
it stopped raining and I managed to get the interior clean and the exterior clean. Now I'm not saying that I'm a detailer because I'm far from a detailer and this does need a little bit more of attention which is why I'm going to probably get Hannah's dad involved. He's got that attention to detail that this car needs. I think let's get on with it, let's cue the music and tell you guys every single thing that is wrong with this Bentley GT Continental. There's no front wing, oh, and there's frame damage. There's no headlight and there's no front bumper. All of this could be quite expensive. Now, this pipe and this pipe here, which looks like a washing machine waste pipe, lead to something which is just not there. This intercooler's took a bit of a whack. Centre cap's missing, locking wheel nuts missing, and alloy scratched. Front grille surround is uh, broken, scratched, damaged the lot. The chrome trim is hanging off here and here. It's filthy under here, which I've not cleaned yet, and the bonnet don't stay open. The headlights that remain on the car are really hazed over. Dent, rust, ding, lack of peel. The window tint is horrendous. Come on, calf. Steering wheel's got wet. The roof lining is really sagging. The tire pressure warning light is on. There's no arch lining. And there's no under tray. And that's pretty much all of the bad news that I know about. But the good news is that all of this can be fixed at an expense. Which is why I need you guys to hit the subscribe button and if you've already hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button because this could be very financially crippling. <laughs> but we're all in it together on this and hopefully we can fix all of the problems and get this car looking and sounding and performing sick. Can you use sick when you're in a Bentley? Can you, can you use that word sick? We're gonna get this car looking marvellous. So first thing I wanna do, first thing I wanna start off with doing and just getting done out of the way is getting the remainder of this wing off. So I think let's get to it. Let me just take this wing off and then we'll go from there. Right, the wing is off. If at any point you're watching the video and you're thinking, how do I know how to do this stuff? Well, you've been, you've been tricked because I actually don't know and I'm learning as I go along. I am literally just winging it, so <laughs> literally. <laughs> I also like to say things like this, when dismantling the car, where it just says, <laughs> Bentley on it, can you see? Just here. It just says Bentley and it doesn't say Audi, Volkswagen, that's quite scary because, um, I mean, a lot of the parts on it are Volkswagen and Audi, so it sort of means you can cross-reference them and get them a little bit cheaper, but when they do say Bentner, never mind me playing, just fly over when I'm filming, are ya? Yeah. But when they just say Bentley, that means it's only Bentley, so you're either looking directly from Bentner or second hand, and still, second hand is still a joke of a price. Now, I said I was gonna carry on, to carry on fixing this thing, but I've snaked you guys. Stop right there, I'm not gonna finish the video yet. I thought that would be a bit cruel, so you know what? I have actually bought a wing for this, so I'll go show you it and I'll show you how, s well, let me just go get it. One wing. It's also the same color as the car, if you're colorblind. Let me show you why we can't fit this in this video. So I've had to start it because the battery went flat on the car and it, I need to get a trickle charger for it because I'm, obviously I'm not starting it every so often and I know it's a hassle if the battery goes on these. Right, let me show you this wing. I've just got one bolt little there holding it in. But if you see here, this is what the bracket that's um, actually meant to hold the wing onto and uh, you can see that it is absolutely nowhere near where it's supposed to be so I literally cannot bolt the wing onto it. And also I know you're all interested in the cost and everything like that and I managed to get a wing, an under tray and a front grille surround which you'll all see in probably the next video. I think it was £1,133. 
and that has been the most expensive cost so far. I have got a lot of other parts in the garage. Uh, yeah, this is going to be um, expensive. And also for those people commenting saying, oh, you could have bought a, a decent one for like 14 or 15 grand. I, I know, I know that. But instead of me making it back to standard, I'm really going to make this into something which is better than standard, hopefully. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry it's not that productive, but we will be cracking on with the Bentley now. I've got a lot of parts ready to go on it and we've got to sort that frame damage out as well. But thanks for watching. Make sure you can subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace out.